Hey, Nick. Uh, thanks for asking this question. Um, so I guess I'll just dive right in. I've already kind of drawn out um, the way of explaining this, my answer. Um, it asks, for the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals inverse sine of x over 2, y equals 0, and x over 2. The first thing that I always do with this kind of problem is to draw a picture, a graph, which is what I've done here. So first I drew my axes, then I drew the, the easy lines, I guess, y equals 0, which is just the x-axis, as you can see down here, then x equals 2 right here. So those are two of the bounds, and then the hard one is y equals inverse sine of x over 2. Um, the way that I would graph that is to take the sine of both sides, I guess. So you have sine of y is equal to x over 2. Um, as, a, as you can see I've here, here I've already done it. And then you can rewrite that as x equals 2 sine of y. And then you can kind of make a table. You can plug in y values first and then get out what x might be. So I just did three points because that's really all you need to get a, a sense for it. So when y is 0, sine is 0, so x is 0. When y is pi halves, sine of pi halves is 1, so x is 2 times 1, which is 2. And then for y equals pi 6, I just picked that because I knew that would be a nice answer. Sine of pi 6 is uh, 1 half, so 2 times 1 half is 1, so x is 1. So given those points, that allowed me to kind of draw this picture here on the right. The pink curve is the, is the one that we're talking about, the... Um, this like magenta color right here, sorry. So that's inverse sine of x over two. So we want to find this pink region is what we're asked for because it's the area bounded by these three, the two blue lines and then this pink. So the way we do that, we can see that we want to do an integral um, on this interval right here, probably from x equals zero to, um, to, sorry, not x equals 0, y equals 0 to y equals pi halves, because that's where um, these two graphs are going to intersect. So the way that you do that um, is basically what I've written down here. Um, I'll explain how I got this integral real quick. So, um, yeah, so taking the integral just normally from some y1 to y2, of, um, let's write it in terms of y, so we have 2 sine of y dy, that would give us this area right here that I'm drawing in right now. But that's not exactly what we want. We want the pink area, which is, um, as you can see, like it's a little bit harder because it's not directly connected to the x-axis. But the way you do that is you take every value, you can see like in green here, this length is 2, and then the length of this little pink part at any point is 2 minus its x at any point. So we're going to have the integral effectively, um, I will write it over here, integral from our bound y1 to y2 of 2 minus x and then dy. We know from this part of the problem over here that x was 2 sine of y. So it's going to become integral from y1 to y2. Those are just the bounds of 2 minus 2 sine of y dy. And that's what I have here. And we can see from the problem that the y bounds for our integral are going to be y equals 0, this point, to y equals pi halves. So doing that, um, right here I just factored out a 2. And then you can take the antiderivative of the function, which will be, that just becomes y, and the antiderivative of negative sine of y is just cosine of y. And when you evaluate that integral, um, hopefully you can do that and check it on your own, but I believe at the end you should get that the area is pi minus 2. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask me or comment, but uh, thanks for asking the question.